My name is uh, Jim Davis, and most first-year students will first get to know me as the instructor or one of the instructors of Math 195, which is the second part of first-year calculus. I'm also associate chair of engineering science and the option chair for the aerospace option. Math 195 is the second half of our first-year calculus stream. The uh, course is really broken down into uh, three parts. The first part is dealing a lot with the mechanics and applications of integrals. The middle third of the course, if I call it that, is directed at um, sequences and series. To me, this is really the heart of the course and really the most uh, important parts uh, we do learn in Math 195. Um, you're probably not terribly familiar with the ideas of sequences and series, in particular the idea that ordinary functions can be represented by infinite series, and these are used all the time. You use them every day, even though you are probably not aware of it. The obvious ones are every time you try to calculate the sine or cosine of an of a angle, uh, your calculator will actually use a se series to do that calculation. It doesn't look up the numbers on the table, it actually does a calculation. The sequences and series are used everywhere that you will come across as, as an engineer, so it's something extraordinarily important. The final part of the course takes us into multi-dimensional calculus. The real world, unfortunately or otherwise, tends to be three-dimensional. So as engineers, you are need, going to need mathematics that will allow you to work in three dimensions. My area of research specialization is in materials for fusion reactors. Uh, a fusion reactor is uh, something that doesn't exist yet other than in the sun and in the stars. The idea is to use hydrogen as a fuel in nuclear reactions to produce helium and uh, use that as a heat source for generating electricity. The uh, reactions themselves will proceed at temperatures on the order of 1 to 200 million degrees. So as future engineers, I, I would hope you recognize that there is an inherent difficulty in having something that's 1 or 200 million degrees within a centimeter or so of a solid surface that we hope won't melt. There really are advantages to this because most people entering university don't have the slightest clue what an engineer is or does. And having a two years in an undergraduate program before you're absolutely required to choose a major really allows you to get some understanding of what the different branches of engineering are all about and what one does as an engineer. One of the main things we do in engineering science is to give everyone a background in all of the major engineering sub-disciplines. And this really does allow, to some degree, for um, at least a more informed decision about choosing a major than you would have coming out of high school.